Sometimes I wonder what the old me would say. He'd probably say that everything is gay. Today is gay. Very creative way to get away with saying something controversial because what's up everybody and I gotta say it's a fantabulous day here on The Straw Hat Show because my man Slim Shady is back. The GOAT. The GOAT. Eminem. The GOAT. It's back in action. You know Eminem does what he does lately and just randomly releases something without any type of promo because we all know he doesn't need it. Nope. Whether he's the old Slim Shady, the new Slim Shady, uh, I am always excited for an Eminem drop because I know that I'm always gonna get the top tier when it comes to lyrical ability, rapping, or I'm just gonna get something unique and totally something that is different in whatever ecosystem or environment hip hop is in. He's always gonna do his own thing and I appreciate that about him. I like to think about it as no matter what type of vibe Eminem's giving us, he's always giving us the Eminem version of it, which is always something that is completely different than what everybody else is doing. Oh, by the way, guys, we just dropped a new song called La Di Da. Check it out, cause you might like it. Let's get right into this. Let's get right into it. This is a Eminem Houdini. Houdini. Official music video. Let's do it. Hey, Em, it's Paul. Uh, I was listening to the album. Good fucking luck. You're on your own. Classic. You got a problem? Check this out. Before, we, before the rapping starts, like... Let's talk about the concept. I see this concept is crazy. So it's like, literally, the old Eminem, the original Slim Shady... Like, from bleach blonde yeah. hair Eminem. In his, like, most primus of prime, 2002, is coming into today's day and age. And he's just like, what the fuck is going on over here? Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming, I mean, maybe in this track is gonna be like a contrast between the original Slim Shady commenting on maybe today's state of affairs in hip hop, mm. or maybe he's just gonna just be rapping like the old Slim Shady. I mean, either way, we're definitely gonna expect some some shock value, we're gonna expect some controversy probably, Bruh. we're gonna expect some really high level rapping. Oh, we're gonna expect a lot of rhyme scheme. Definitely a lot of rhyme scheme. There's just, there's no doubt about that. That's like always a guarantee. There's, there's gotta be at least like one mega inappropriate bar in this. What, definitely some sexual bars some going sexual on. Sexual bars. Yeah, so you know, I'm hyped for this, honestly. And then we also start with the classic, with the classic uh, uh, Eminem's manager, Paul Rosenberg, calling him and just fed up with whatever hijinks or new tracks he got coming out just because of the blowback he knows he's gonna receive later. Guess who's back, guess who's back, guess who's back, guess who's back, guess who's back. Well, look what the stork run, little baby devil with the fork tongue. And it's sticking out, yeah, like a sore thumb, with a forehead that it grew horns from. Still a white jerk, pulling up in a Chrysler to the cypher with the flex perks and a Bud Light shirt. Lyrical technician and electrician, y'all light like work. And I don't gotta play pretend, it's you I make believe. And you know I'm here to stay, cause me, if I was to ever take a leave, it would be as for to break a feed. If I was to ask for Megan D, Stallion, if she would collab with have a shot at a feet. I don't know, but I'm glad to be back like that. Okay. okay. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. You know, this is this is a quite a bit of a challenge because yeah. like I gotta hone in on his you always gotta hone in on on his words. Even though he's pretty straightforward with the things he says, his 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 technique is not straightforward. Yeah, yeah. And then then there's just a super cool video that yeah, the we're paying attention to. How about this? I'll talk about the visual. You wanna talk about the bars? Yeah, we could do that. There's two of us. Why not? Yeah, yeah. So let me talk about the visual real quick. We'll rewind it if we need to for the bars, yeah, and then yeah. we can break it down. All right. So visual is super cool. <laughs> you got like the old Slim Shady or Eminem, and then there's the new Eminem, and they're both looking at each other in some sort of parking lot looking at each other. And it's kind of funny because you got the old Eminem 
doing a, a backspin, which is a b-boy move, right? Like he's battling the new Eminem, which we appreciate because, uh, duh, duh. we're b-boys, right? So for those of you that are new to our channel, we're the twin breakdancing rappers from NYC. So it's pretty cool to see Eminem busting some moves. I didn't even know he could do that, right? The video is very uh, obviously reminiscent of all his older videos. You got like the comic book strip moments, you know what I mean? What are those called? Uh, panels. You got the comic book panels, you know what I mean? Uh, from like the Without Me video. You got all the people like Eminem's associated with, artists that he signed, uh, you know, you got 50 Cent, Dr. Dre. You got that new kid he signed, um, the Filipino cat. Oh, he was there? Easy Mill. Yeah, yeah. You got him there. You got um, that other dude, uh, what's his name? That other dude that he signed that looks like uh, Mal's Monday. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Him and Mouse have a song together. Really? Yeah, anyways. What's up, everybody? We just wanted to take the time out to say thanks for watching the reaction. We also wanted to take the time out to introduce you to who we are and what we do. We're Straw Hat Dynasty, a twin breakdancing rap duo from NYC. We've worked years now in cultivating our ability to make quality music, quality music videos, breakdancing, and overall entertaining. We pour everything we have into every song, every video, in order to provide you with the best entertainment experience possible. So if you would take the time to check out some of our original music, our content, and follow us on all platforms, we would super appreciate it. We're just two brothers following our dreams, and we appreciate your support as you join us on this life journey. Thanks so much. Now back to the reaction. You got a bunch of people, you got Snoop Dogg, you got all these people he's associated with in the comic book panels doing their thing, right? And then you got him just like being super goofy, waking up in bed with two like clearly like older women, you know, who are not your typical form of beauty. There's just like older women who are, it's just funny. It's just meant to laugh, it's goofy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I love what's going on here. Uh, let's listen for the bars. Guess who's back, guess who's back. Well, look for the stork from Little baby devil with the fork tongue And it's sticking out, yeah, like a sore thumb With a forehead that it grew horns from Still a white jerk Or, um He's gonna, he's gonna hold that for a minute probably Or switch it up Look what the, what the, look what the stork brung Little, little, uh, devil baby with a fork tongue Right? Uh, or the, the head that he grew horns from. The head that he grew horns from, just like, even the fact of it, he went like this, the horns from, and he said fork tongue, like this is the split tongue. Usually the fork, the devil also carries a, like a little fork thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the tr tr traditional movie devil. You know? and, and he's just kind of just telling you like, oh, he's rhyming a creative way to tell you how how he came onto this earth, you know, like he was born like a rap devil or a devil, there's a little demon baby in the thing. This it's, could also be a subliminal to uh, Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. And probably not, but nah, nah, I wouldn't just, be surprised. I think he's just coined that from that moment he's been coining this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's super cool. He's just kind of like, this is, you know, like almost like introducing like an urban legend into the scene, into the hip hop game. Mm -hmm. That is Eminem. Pulling up in a Chrysler to the cypher with the fake perks and a Bud Light shirt. Lyrical technician and electrician, y'all light work. And now I don't gotta play pretend, it's you I make believe. And you know I'm here to stay, cause me. If I was to F to take a leave, it would be as friend to break a feed. If I was to ask for Megan the Stallion, if she would collab with me, would I really have a shot at a feat? I don't know, but I'm glad to be back like that, bruh. <laughs> I don't even know, bro. You know, he's just saying a bunch of funny things. You know what I mean? Um, I like that last part. It, if would I get would I have a shot at a feature with Meg the Stallion? That could have also been a sexual reference. Like, do I have a shot at her? Cause you got him like hump in the air. And I think he's just saying like the old Slim Shady in this new world, how would that operate? Would that even work? Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, would it work? You know, and we all know that in today's society, <laughs> it probably wouldn't work. Probably would work. You know what I mean? But he's so cemented in who he is and his brand that he can just kind of just do what he wants and get away with it because thank God, like he started when he did. He's got so many fans and he's so up there in influence that all you snowflakes, shout out to Tom McDonald, y'all can't cancel this guy because he's just the man and he's just gonna exercise his right for freedom of speech, you know what I mean? And just to make the music he wants to make. Take the vote, be it's case of vote, he turned me into smutty face. 
emoji My shit may not be age appropriate But I will hit an eight year old in the face With a participation trophy <laughs> <laughs> It was never fucking okay. So it was like back in the age of coping, to po like just basically saying back when I was doing this to back cope, I, for coping, like like just like, I'm back, sorry, the, the Oslam Shady. The rhyme scheming is just crazy on this. Back, one, back, right? when, back when I was the Oslam Shady doing drugs or whatever, that's that was me back in the day. <laughs> I love this. He said he say, say I may say some things that aren't age appropriate, right? Bang it, oh, e, age appropriate it, and then he continues like with the bar from, yeah. from, from connecting the words. And then he's like, I'll still hit a, I still hit an eight year old in the face with a participation trophy. trophy. And that's hilarious because he's really playing on the new world we live in and kind of like incorporating that into the themes of his rhymes, you know, because in this new day and age, it's like everyone's super sensitive and they talk about just giving trophies just for the sake of giving trophies, participation trophies and hit, you know, him just pulling that shock factor. Like, I'm going to hit an eight-year-old with a trophy. <gasps> That's pretty Slim Shady to you me. You know, and it's a participation trophy. It's just, it's kind of hilarious to me. And, and then, then the visual, thinking about, like, him actually hitting it. Actually, he, he he does the visual right there. Let's watch that. That shit was fucking funny as fuck. Take the movie, get face emoji, turn me into smutty face emoji. Uh, yo, he's literally <laughs> on the driver's seat with a fucking boner. He's got a boner in the video. Like he's he's almost on full fledged, like not Slim giving shady mode. Slim shady mode, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Fuck it. My shit may not be age appropriate, but I will hit an eight year old in the face with a participation trophy. Yes, I have zero doubts that this whole world's about to turn into some Girl Scouts that sends the shit girls out. So when I started this verse, it did start off like hard and it first it feels like I'm targeted, mind boggling how my profit is skyrocketed. Look what I pocketed, yeah, the shit is just like y'all have been like jogging in. I've been running at full speed and that's why I'm ahead like my noggin and I'm the fight y'all get in when you debate who the best but I'm ahead like my noggin in. I'm ahead. Like my noggin in, and then he's continuing to say, like, like when well, my head is, he's gonna say what his noggin's doing here on this line. I pause it before okay, we said okay, it, but okay. just the idea, I'm ahead, because we have the word ahead. I'm ahead, like in my noggin in, like probably saying his head in like some type of race or something. That's what I'm guessing. But just the wordplay here is fucking crazy, yo. And they're just based. He's he's just setting it up like. In this new world, in this new sensitive world, I can see everyone's gonna turn into Girl Scouts. That was right? hilarious. That was hilarious. That was that was sexist. It was it was awesome, honestly. I'm not saying sexism is awesome, but I'm just saying some shady's awesome. Uh, he's just he, like his ability that he doesn't give a fuck. It's just on full display here. I love it. It's very reminiscent of Without Me flows. It's like a more modern day Without Me. He's just really going off right now. Zero doubts. That this whole world's about to turn into some Girl Scouts That sends the shit girls out So when I started this verse it Oh yeah, he, he also talks about like How people trying to cancel him But like the more people try to cancel him The more he does him The, the, the more success he has He his talks about his up. profit and his bank account going up Start off like hard and it first Feels like I'm targeted Mind boggling how my profit is skyrocketing Look what I pocketed Yeah, the shit is just like y'all have been Like joking in I've been running at full speed And that's why I'm ahead like my noggin And I'm the fight y'all get in When you debate who the best But I'm some white chalk And when I step up to that mic cock it in Oh my god, it's that chicken out again I'm in the debate for that fight that you're in Always about who the best is You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's funny because a lot of people try to shit on Eminem like he's not the greatest or like he's not in the discussion to be one of the greatest, but he's always in the discussion. He's always one of in the, the discussion. Greatest. I mean, you know what I mean? You may not, even if you don't put him at your greatest, he's definitely in the discussion. If you don't believe that, you're either, you're just hating on him because because he's a white man dominant who's dominated a predominantly black genre, right? Or or you're super young and you just don't really know the history of hip hop, which is fine because you're super young. I mean, your your top five's probably got like, I don't know. No, it's probably got Drake in it. Oh, no, 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 not even. Even like super, super young kids, their top five's probably got like, like Trippy Red, Juice World. Uh, I mean, you know. Not for me. You know, Lil Yachty. Not for me. Can't do anything. You know, these guys, you know what I mean? They do their thing, respect to them. Not for me. Not for me. Not for me. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, anyways. Shady must be stopped. 
can win I step up to that mic cock it then Oh my god, it's that chicken dot again Recreating old all these old iconic scenes. And like the thing is so funny because he's like he's recreating it, but like he's older now. He's older now, so it's harder for him to do what he was doing before. It's just a great metaphor within just the video. He'd probably say that everything to, is gay. Today is gay. Very creative way to get away with saying something controversial because he's saying, I'm not saying everything is gay. It's like, I'm saying the, if the old me was here today, he'd probably say everything is gay. You know what I mean? And probably not in a literal sense of things being gay, but back then people used to use the word gay like, you know, that's stupid or that's black, mm. right? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying back then, that's how it used to be said. Giving you all some context. Some context. That's it. That's it. Context. And We're I'm not here to get into any political discussions or any of that, so... No, this is a, too much of a fun song to get into that. Exactly. Shit. But if you want to put your opinion down, feel free to do it in the comments. Uh, also, you can tell us in the comments, what was your favorite 2002 Prime Slim Shady song? Let yes. us know. Or even more detailed, what was your favorite most shocking Eminem line mm. out of his whole discography. Please flood the comments down below with some of your favorite shocking Slim Shady lines. And I gotta say, I love this uh, this battle visual going on. They got the old school like anime fucking lines in the background streak going on. <laughs> About to show down one after another. He's chasing the old Slim Shady. And can we just give it up for Eminem just genetically just being able to always pull off younger versions of himself in these videos like yes, yes. all he has to do is shave like this man is like a vampire i swear yeah, he's aging pretty well i would say you know what i mean and uh there's a lot of onomatopoeia going on in this video a lot of boom bam ba <laughs> giving that comic book vibe let's keep watching <laughs> <laughs> he said he would say this world is gay and that he's like, stuck like, in ad lib. Like I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is super slick because Liv Shady is just a playful, I don't give a fuck playful mother. He'll say something extreme and then follow it up with something lighthearted to make the extreme thing not as bad like he just did right now. Yeah, but he was also saying like happy just to kind of uh just to just, just to be like kind of like a prick to the listener be like, like a dick like sarcastic about it yeah he's like yeah, no i'm not saying it's gay because it's gay i'm saying it's gay because it's that's, happy that's the original meaning of gay yeah yeah but like you know even though he doesn't really mean that oh, oh he's a fusion oh he's about to go off oh. Kids still wanna act like me. I'm a bigger prick than cacti be, and that's why these words think I'm a bigger prick than cacti be. Pricks on a cactus. I said <laughs> I'm just like you were being attacked. I'm a bigger prick than cacti be, and that's why these words think just like you were being attacked by bees in the group leaning back my seat. But Bernard Kelly saved the group. The black guy got bees. <laughs> Did he say like the page from R. Kelly's book, The Black Guy Peace? Kids still wanna act like me. I'm a bigger prick than cacti be, and that's why these words sting just like you were being attacked by bees in the coop, leaning back my seat. But Bernard Kelly saved the group. The black guy got bees in my Air Max 90s, white tees, walking parental advisory. My transgender cat Siamese identifies as black, but acts Chinese. Like a motherfucking hacky sack, I treat the whole world because I got it at my feet. How can I explain to you that even myself I'm a danger to? I hop on tracks like a kangaroo and say a few things that do the anger you. But fuck that. If I think that shit, I'ma say that shit Cancel me, what? Okay, that's it Go ahead, Paul, quit Snake ass prick, you nail cross dresser Fake ass bitch Then I'll probably get shit for that But you can all suck my dick In fact, fuck them, fuck Dre, fuck Jimmy, fuck me, fuck you Fuck my own kids, the brats Fuck them, think it's cool, fuck <laughs> <laughs> This, 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 this guy. guy 
that is crazy. He said, fuck everybody. He said, fuck Jimmy IV. The fuck guy, Dr. Dre. Fuck Dr. Dre. He said, fuck my like, own kids. They're brats. And he put his kids on FaceTime and literally flipped off his kids. He said, I don't give a fuck. Y'all want to cancel me? Fuck you. And I'll probably get shit for that. And then he had a fucking, then he had a picture of them of when he was like cross-dressing as Britney Spears. And I think it was his mom. I don't know. He said, Paul, you're a cross-dresser, but I'll probably get shit for that line. That's what he said. He yeah. called his manager a cross-dresser. He also, let's talk about the Black Eyed Peas line. I like that part. Yeah, yeah. He said something like R. Kelly's favorite group, the Black the Black Eyed Peas. Oh. <laughs> but Black Guy Peas, because R. Kelly's notoriously <laughs> known for peeing little on girl. little girls. And, I mean, let's be real. He is a black guy. He's a black guy, and he's peeing. On girls. On little girls. You know, that's a, another pro tip for you up and coming rappers out there, which is something I talk about a lot on this channel, is using words within words to create bars. Black eyed peas, black guy peas, but the way you pronounce it, you can you can get those words out of another word. That's even a higher level. Through changing your pronunciation, you can get words within words. And then you put two meanings in one line. That's a double entendre. Two oh. meanings, one line. Crazy. Crazy, crazy yes. shit going on. Only Eminem can do that. Eminem. In such a playful way. Yes. Yes. I like it. Fuck them, fuck Dre, fuck Jimmy, fuck me, fuck you. Fuck my own kids, the brats. Fuck them. Take a scoop off. Yeah. Them and you are. Uh, you too, Paul. Uh, got two balls. Uh, Biggest group paws. Uh, what you thought you saw ain't what you saw. Uh, Cause you're never gonna see me. Caught sleeping and see the kidnapping. Never did happen. Like Sherry Papini, Harry Houdini. I vanish into the thin air as I'm leaving like. Trust me, I'm a great driver. Don't worry, I just got my license back. Always good to have a Pete Davidson appearance feature in one of your videos that's sure to uh, boost the relevancy. He came in, I just got my license, acting reckless, crashing into things. You know, fitting the theme of, hey man, we're taking it back to Slim Shady. Oh, I think also because he has a skit on SNL as uh, Eminem. Mm. So because he has that skit, it's just the relevancy is there, they brought him back. Two silicon boys were talking outside, talking outside, talking outside. Okay. Easter eggs galore, a bunch of Easter eggs in this video actually, like the whole, all the Slim Shadies together. Uh, and then his influence is spreading so much, people are turning into him everywhere. Just like back in the day. Eminem's Houdini. I liked it, you know what I mean? It, it's not, it's not supposed to be the craziest rap song on earth, but he's bringing back an uh, old style of his. He's bringing back an old character of his. He's bringing back Slim Shady. And let's face it, man, if you're a real Eminem fan, you all love Slim Shady. So to hear him go back to his controversial, uh, funny, not taking it too serious, but he knows other people are gonna take it serious bars, which is a perfect formula to create some traction in today's day and age especially for Eminem because he's uncancelable. You can't cancel him. You can't cancel him. Exactly. So he can just say whatever he wants and off the controversy, it's just gonna explode. I enjoyed Houdini. It made me very happy. So many laughs going on. The fact that he's able to be so silly and playful, simple and straightforward, but exercise these extremely difficult and high level rap techniques all at the same time, just further cements why Eminem is either the GOAT or in the discussion to being the GOAT. Exactly. If you found any value from this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get the notification every time we put up a new video. And guys, check out our new song, La Di Da, just dropped. You might like it. I'm Trix the Hooligan. And I'm Jules the Buddha Monk. And we are Straw Hat Dynasty, your favorite rapping. Breaking. Twins from NYC. Peace. Peace.